And here is the shea butter that we got. Nice big shea butter. It's kind of like a light, light yellow color. And this is a white shea butter. The white one doesn't really have a strong scent like yellow shea butter, so it doesn't really smell strong. It does have a bit of a scent, but it's not very strong, I'd say. And it's a bit, you can see the color difference here. This one is, this one is a bit lighter. And they have darker yellow than this, but this one is definitely like what they would call um, white, white shea butter. This is uh, African black soap, African black soap, waste beads. Yeah, this is good to mix with some vitamin E oil or sweet almond oil and then some cream and then put on your body. And if you get a nice big block, it will last a long time and you definitely get more for your money than if you're buying this like in the West, because in the West they charge a lot for shea butter. So if you can get it at the market in Ghana or or Nigeria, wh whichever West African country you're in. And if they have shea butter, you might as well just get it there because trying to get it back home, I mean, people charge an arm and a leg for it. <laughs> it's okay, I guess, if you, if you have a lot of money, then it doesn't matter. But if you're on a budget or you're a student, you know, then it's good to get, to get it if you're in the country because it'll be cheaper and you'll get a lot as well, like a big block. Anyway, so these are waste beads here. You can get all kinds of waist beads in Ghana, whatever color you want and all different size kind of beads and which is really cool. So you wear these like under your clothing, around your waist, they look really nice. And the African black soap, this is what it looks like. It's good for exfoliating and if you wanna get a nice kind of squeaky clean, a squeaky clean feeling. So, some people say they, they like it for like ac acne scarring, back acne and all this, back acne. Yeah, so it has this, these things in it. I'm not quite sure about the ingredients. I think it has like castor oil and all that, but there's these things in it that are like, um, kind of exfoliates your body. So when you're in the shower and all that, when you're in the shower and you want to exfoliate, you know, whether it's the face, your back, your feet, wherever, you can use this to exfoliate. And they like to sell this kind of mesh thing to shower with. My family and I had made, made friends with Ghanaians in Dublin, Ireland, and they showed me this, or they had this in their own bathroom, and the shea butter stuff and all that. I like to mix my shea butter with vitamin E oil and sweet almond oil and some cream. I'll show you the products that I have. I mean, I get all kinds of vitamin E oils all the time, but the one that I packed with me for this trip, I'll show you, it's... When it comes to moisturizing and using natural products, natural products on skin and hair, these are the type of products I would use personally. Now, since I am in a different country, I basically don't have everything I use with me, but I still have quite a bit, I'd say. And these things I have back at home, but like I said, I do have more back at home, but these things, these natural products that I'm showing now, not all of them are very natural because the creams, I, I would say, are more processed, but the other stuff, the oil, the oils, the shea butter, and cocoa butter and all that, I'd say are the natural, natural things I use on my hair and skin. So, I just wanted to show you the different shea butters I have. This one I had gotten back in Canada and uh, it was quite pricey because if you're getting shea butter in the West, like in Canada or the US, it's going to be more expensive than uh, if you buy it in Ghana. So if you go to the market in Ghana, you can get a better price and more for your money. But this is, I just wanted to show you like the different colors because I think it's interesting. This one, they said it's 
deodorized, it doesn't really have a smell and all that, but if you hold it up to your nose, like go close to it, you can smell, you can smell it, like you can get the scent, the shea butter scent, but I wouldn't say it's very strong compared to like some of the yellow shea butters, the white one is definitely more mild, and then this one I got in the market in Ghana, and I used quite a bit of it, it was a bit bigger, um, <laughs> two weeks ago I'd say but it has definitely gone down I've used quite a bit of it and I like to mix it with oil I like to mix the shea butter with almond oil or um, just like a lightweight kind of oil usually almond oil because the almond oil is um, very lightweight and it's not thick like castor oil yeah I would use Jamaican black castor oil on my eyelashes or if the corners of my hair are starting to get thin because sometimes if you put braids or do a lot of over processing on your hair over process your hair and tie it back in a ponytail a lot you can kind of um, your edges can become strained and weaker so this is good for edges and if you want to grow your eyelashes thick and long and if, if you suffer from hair loss and all that and um, I don't like to usually put this on my skin unless I'm mixing it with some with some lotion, body lotion, or a lightweight oil because it's quite thick and I don't want it, I don't want it to block the pores on my skin or clog the pores in my hair on my scalp. So this I would mix with something light definitely if I am not putting it on my eyelashes or on the corners or my eyebrows. If you also have um, if you want to like grow back your eyebrows in certain areas or if your eyebrows are thin, you can also use this. So, I just want to show you the vitamin E. I know this doesn't re really look nice, but um, because I was keeping it in the fridge and, and all that, so it doesn't really look nice, but uh, you can also get vitamin E in, in the little tablet forms, but when, when I'm traveling, I like to take vitamin E supplements and all that. This is a liquid liquid version of vitamin E and it's good for stretch marks if you have acne scarring if you have dry skin vitamin E is good for dry skin as well once once you also mix it with cream um, it's good I would put the vitamin E first after I wash my face or after exfoliating and cleaning my face I would put the vitamin E it's kind of like a serum you know you can apply it like a serum and then you can put your lotion on after and moisturize it that way so the vitamin E will sink in really well and you know if you have acne scarring and all that it really helps with with that and the stretch marks and it's it's good with um, shea butter like if you want to put it on your body you can mix it with the shea butter and lotion as well and that is also very good for evening out skin tone if you have an uneven skin tone scarring and acne or stretch marks um, what a lot of people like to do is do the vitamin E, shea butter, body lotion, maybe some almond oil or other oils that they have, they can mix that in. For example, if you, if you feel like the shea butter is very strong in, in terms of scent and you're like, oh, this shea butter is kind of, like, I like the scent of it, but I want to spice it up a bit. You can apply a, or you can mix in a rose essential oil or a little bit of vanilla whatever kind of essential oils you have or like a scented kind of balm because they sell scented bombs. I made my own scented balm with cocoa butter and I had put cocoa butter, coconut oil and some of and these two essential oils in there and mixed it mixed it in there so it's like a scented balm and I also wanted to show this because I do use cocoa butter as well besides shea butter and I have um, a pack of it at home that I had bought I had bought in the West, but um, I didn't manage to find co uh, cocoa butter here yet, but I don't use it as often as the shea butter, so it's fine like if I don't end up getting any here. So I just packed a little bit with me because like I said before, I don't use it that much. Sometimes I put it on my lips. And this one, like I said, is scented, so it has a pleasant smell. It smells like rose, vanilla rose. So I wanted to bring the myrrh as well because I like mixing rose, myrrh, 
frankincense and vanilla, but I had limited space or, you know, I didn't want to carry too much with me. So this is argan oil leave-in conditioner. It's good for styling your hair if you want, if you want to um, style and define your curls or waves. I like to use cream and mix it with some oil or shea butter. Put that on my hair after I shower. I don't put this too often and I try not to put cream and thick products in my on my scalp too often because I don't want to clog the pores. But I like this because it's very lightweight and um, I just do it once after I uh, wash my hair and all that. I put it in one time with the oil and let it moisturize. So when my hair is drying, after my hair dries, it will be nicely moisturized and conditioned. Because sometimes when you wash your hair, even if you do the conditioner, it can still end up looking pretty dry and all that. So I just did that now. I don't know if, you, I don't know if you're able to see because the lighting is a bit dark in here. So show you. So I had just washed my hair because I, I was at the market recently, so I wanted to make sure um, I clean myself properly after being in the market because there's a lot of people there. It's very busy and congested and there's a bit of pollution. So I did have to wash and then moisturize after. So I did end up putting that leave-in conditioner, the argan oil one, and I mixed it in with some of my almond oil, the almond oil, and put it in my hair. And I sprayed a bit of rose water for scents because I've packed some rose water with me. Mix. It's just the rose water with regular water and just sprayed it in my hair for scent because these are these don't really have um, a strong scent anyway and I like sometimes to make sure that my hair smells good you know so yeah that's oh yeah this is the black African soap so these are things that I use on my body and skin and they're fairly natural you know fairly natural not extremely processed and I would definitely recommend products like these to my friends and family and people that I know that are close to me because I wouldn't really recommend something that doesn't <laughs> work for me or something that um, just just for the sake of it you know what I mean like I wouldn't tell someone oh try this like I need to try I need to try it out and it has to be part of my lifestyle and my routine for me to want to recommend it to someone. I wouldn't just say, oh yeah, it's great, you know what I mean? I have to like it myself personally before recommending it to friends and family. And my Ghanaian friends definitely, they were the ones that introduced myself and my family to the whole shea butter thing and the African black soap and taught me how to apply it and, and all that. So I'm grateful that they educated me about these products because you know compared to other things a lot of people that that have problems with their skin like dry skin eczema and all that they have um, a hard time finding things that actually moisturize and if they aren't educated or if they don't know about products like these shea butter cocoa butter vitamin e you know they'll just be getting the mainstream like lotion without um and that won't, usually doesn't solve the issue because this is very lightweight, very lightweight. That's why I mix it with something heavy like this. And if you're not educated or haven't researched about these kinds of products, natural oils, essential oils, and, and the purposes and the, and the benefits of using them, then you're gonna be stuck with this and it's not gonna help you, right? So it's good.